How many of you know that human being, the human species, does dominate over the earth? God's original assignment for man is to do what? God, what is my purpose? What is my calling? Why am I here? What are you calling me to do? We can start at the beginning. Amen? Let religion not deceive you that you must assume some form of accolade before the Holy Spirit can use you. But for this reason was the Son of God made manifest to destroy every work of the devil. That's why I've been sent to Dallas to become a bulldozer, a battering ram, a battle axe in the hand of God against that spirit of religion over this metroplex. This short, chubby, ponytailed Dominican and Cuban sent from Philly down south to be a sign and wonder to the religious system. So I want to give you guys a message today. Say the two years. Now Jesus' ministry was three years and a half. Before he ascended. The Azusa Street Revival that touched over 800 million people was only three years and a half. I'm not saying the Glory Revival is only three years and a half, don't you? But I'm saying we just hit two years. The Lord spoke to me that in our first year, it would be the beginning of a movement. Say movement. Then he said this year, the second year will be multiplication. Say multiplication. And the third year, there would be momentum. Amen? To so say multiply. So the number two, biblically, is the number of multiplication. Amen? So I want to give you guys a word today. Are you ready? Say multiply. Let's go to Genesis 1.26. Then God said, let us make man in our image in according to our likeness. Let them have dominion. Say dominion. Say us. So let us make man in our image and according to our likeness. Who is speaking here? And God is speaking in what? Plurality, right? So here we are, Genesis chapter 1. God is speaking as a plural being. What is he saying? The Father, the Son, and the Spirit. One God three persons agreed together say the power of agreement and said let us make man say hallelujah and then he said according to our likeness say likeness and let them have what dominion say dominate how many of you know that human being the human species does dominate over the earth so god is true you didn't come from a monkey because a monkey's still in the jungle scratching its butt. It ain't dominating anything. <laughs> Amen. And it says, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth. Say all the earth. And over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female he created them say hallelujah then God blessed them and God said to them be fruitful and multiply God's original assignment for man humanity is to do what to be fruitful and to multiply say hallelujah so God's original intent for you is that you would be fruitful and that you would multiply so if you're wondering God what is my purpose what is my calling why am I here what are you calling me to do we can start at the beginning Amen. In the beginning, God said to man, you're made like me in my image and my likeness. 
and your assignment is to be fruitful and to multiply now we know Adam and Eve went ahead and did that in the sense that they gave birth to children and multiplied over the earth right and it says fill the earth say fill it and subdue it have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over every living thing which moves on the earth say hallelujah so God has given him dominion over the fish of the sea so that he gave him dominion over a marine kingdom he gave him dominion over the birds of the air so he has authority over the kingdoms of the air and he also gave him dominion over every living thing which moves upon the earth so he has dominion over all the earth every creature that walks upon the earth say hallelujah and that was the beginning and we know that Jesus went ahead and said to his disciples, let's go to Matthew 28. It says, then the 11 went away into Galilee to the mountain which Jesus appointed for them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him. Say hallelujah. Now watch this, but some doubted. <laughs> you imagine seeing Jesus raised from the dead and still doubting? This is what I'm telling you. Some people will see miracles. They'll see the move of God. They'll hear the testimonies. They'll hear the word. They'll see Jesus right in front of them. And they'll still doubt. Are you listening? So some of you are so prideful. I got to be confrontational to some of those mindsets. You're so prideful. You think you're so smart. You're so convinced by your own understanding that you can have Jesus right in front of you resurrected from the dead and still doubt you can see the move of God the move of God's spirit and still doubt even my atheist co-worker said yeah I believe now but I still don't want to follow you hear what I'm saying so let me encourage those of you who are passionate to win souls and evangelize you can't persuade people you simply demonstrate the kingdom and they will have to come to the conclusion and i tell you the truth if you had a billion dollar check and your assignment was to hand out the billion dollar check when someone says no you won't be offended you'll feel bad for them who agrees your job is to hand out billion dollar checks hey here you go we're doing a giveaway now I'm good my friend I'm handing out the ticket paid in full to heaven you don't want it you a fool you are a fool are you listening now if you're in the room and you are that fool this is your day to stop being foolish amen because in reality you are not fooling anyone you're fooling yourself to deny him you are the fool because you have no guarantee within yourself where you're gonna go when you die we do hallelujah I have that guarantee do you and I don't have the guarantee because I'm a good person guess what I'm not is there anyone righteous in the room within their own none are righteous no not one there is none who do good all are evil you don't believe that let me take a dvd of all your thoughts and put it on the screen if we even have dvds anymore let me take a recording a uh, download it from the cloud you know let's download all your thoughts put them on the screen you convince me you're a good person the heart is deceitfully wicked so wicked who can know it that's what the bible says yet the Lord searches the hearts and the thoughts of all men 
and will judge them according to it. Ah, that's bad news. Anybody agree that's horrible news? Are any of us in good standing with that being considered? <laughs> so what is the good news then? What are we to do? God so loved the world that he gave his perfect, holy, righteous son to die in your place to suffer the judgment of hell that you deserve to give you the payment of the penalty that you may have eternal life in heaven with him guys this is amazing news without him i'm screwed without jesus we are all doomed who agrees so to deny him is simply to fool yourself and this is why we should never be offended when someone denies our faith we should be hurting for people not be hurt by people and we ought to walk with such godfidence say godfidence because the gift of eternal life has been handed to you and then he said as freely as you've received freely you what so you are given an assignment from god where he has given you the check paid in full and all you have to do is write the person's name on it who wants it and your assignment is simple is to hand that off to people now again if you had a billion dollar check and someone said i'm good you're crazy i don't want what you got you're just gonna look at them like this boy's stupid right because you know that in the back of that billion dollar check is a real billion dollars beloved there is a guarantee there is no other god like jesus christ every other god is a fantasy every other religion is a man trying to get to god jesus it was god himself who came down to man proved it by dying on the cross resurrected and 500 people witnessed his resurrection 500 people are documented in history they saw him resurrected from the dead there is no other God like this one. Why do you think the whole world is cool if you believe in the universe, if you believe in yourself, if you believe in Buddha, Muhammad, they'll respect you, but you believe in Jesus and they hate you. They mock you, they scoff at you. Why? The world hated him first. And even in their hatred and defiance, they testify he's the true and living God. Ah, I feel like an evangelist today. Hallelujah. <laughs> in your defiance to him, you prove he's real. In your hatred and rebellion, you prove he is who he says he is. Because even the scriptures tell you, you will be this way. Hallelujah. Say glory. glory. Beloved, you have the opportunity that whoever is in front of you, let me help you. Cancers die in your presence. You know why? Because the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead dwells in you that's not for a special anointed minister let religion not deceive you that you must uh, uh, assume some form of accolade before the holy spirit can use you this isn't you see the systems of our god are not like the systems of this world you don't need a degree to get in position someone got the degree for you 
Someone got the stripes for you. Someone paid the price for you and seated you together with him in heavenly places. Ah! So what are you waiting for? Whose permission do you need? Hey. The world is waiting for the revealing of the manifestation of the sons of God. The world is actually waiting for you. Ah, I'm waiting on God. Some of you are not. You just, un you're in full of unbelief. But faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so tonight by the hearing of the word of God faith is being imparted into you you are being activated by the spirit of the living God and your truth is setting you free every chain every shackle come off be loosed in the name of Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Who needs the permission slip? You ready for your permission slip? I'm going to give it to you right now. Matthew 28 verse 18 and onward. You ready? And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Come on, I'm on fire tonight. Woo! Here's your permission slip. Verse 19. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So when some Pharisee and some religious leader comes to you when you're in the street sharing the gospel and they're like, by whose authority do you do what you do? Matthew 28 verse 19, Jesus spoke unto me, hey, all power, all authority has been given. Hey, ya and he said, go. Hey. Say hallelujah. I believe that tonight an army is about to be released. Dallas Fort Worth ain't gonna know what hit them when the glory revival, these Glorians in this room, these sons of God began to manifest. Hey, Rabakaya. Are you ready? Say, here am I, Lord. Send me. Send me. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. So this is the year of multiplication. Some of you have already been activated. How many of you since coming to the Glory Revival have been activated? Look at the show of hands. You've been seeing miracles. God has used you to heal. Come on, this beloved sister, stand up. She just got saved like three months ago on Pentecost Sunday. And she's already healing the sick, casting out demons. What is your excuse, church? Hey! I love you. Hallelujah. She just got born again. On Pentecost Sunday. She's already casting out demons. Some of you have been in church for 30 years, ain't even cast out one demon. Can't even rebuke a fly out the house. Let alone a demon out your house. And I understand, I'm not condemning you if that's you. Because religion has deceived you. But for this reason was the Son of God made manifest to destroy every work of the devil. That's why I've been sent to Dallas to become a bulldozer, a battering ram, a battle axe in the hand of God against that spirit of religion over this metroplex. This short, chubby, ponytailed Dominican and Cuban sent from Philly down south 
to be a sign and wonder to the religious system. Masti 